is up and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be attempting Lucy's 7 day ab workout. Guaranteed to lose 1-2 to two inches if you follow all the exercises and eat as best as you can. Now this video has over 100 million views on YouTube. We're going to see and put this workout to the test so let's get into it. I first measured my waist which came out to 28 and a half inches. These are the before shots before I started the workout. So I just completed the workout. I am not used to doing ab workouts that consist of standing almost the entire time. I usually do ab workouts where you're on the ground, you're doing planks, you're never once standing. So standing and doing those big movements was more cardio for me, which was good. So I'm really hoping to see results within the next week or so. So yeah, I do recommend it so far. The seven minutes went by so quickly. So I'll see y'all tomorrow for another update. It is day three, so let's just hop on into the workout. All right, we got the filming on the iPhone, and then we got the TV going, and then, you know, sometimes I, I'm easily distracted. I just, I'm focusing my attention on the seven day penny challenge right now. I'm just all over the place. Sometimes in order for me to get things done and focus, I have to have other distractions in place. It, it's like a time attention span thing. Anyways, let's hop into the video. All right, we finished day three, got my cardio in for the day, basically with those moves right there. Those moves are so unusual, I've never done most of them in my life. I know my family would make fun of me, not that you should make fun of people exercising because they're trying to better themselves, but I know my family would and as would my friends. And when they see this video, they probably will make fun of the moves I'm just doing, but it's all to better myself and then get those end results in. So yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow, bye. Oh, and I almost forgot one more thing. The dieting or the lifestyle choices I'm taking to enhance my results at the end of this video. So far, it's consisted of Chinese food. It's consisted of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, fruit bowls, and one too many decaf mochas that I never drink but have decided to really enhance this week. So that's how far my eating choices are reflecting on my progress. Okay, so this is how day four was going. Just like that, I was dead. I was completely exhausted and barely had enough energy to do the workout. I had driven over five hours that day, taken a big exam, and this is how life was going. <laughs> just finished day five i'm sweating i just ate bad idea eat and then work out my stomach's not feeling it i'll see y'all tomorrow for day six hey y'all so i just woke up from a nap it's around 7 p.m i'm hot i'm tired i feel like a blowfish so let's do this workout So it's day seven. I'm just about to get into the workout. So let's get to it. Okay, just finished the workout. Let's go get into some after results and some measurements. All right, back to measurements. 
My waist came to approximately 27 inches and I didn't even believe it at first and had to get confirmation, but it was 27. Hey y'all, so I just finished the measurements. I measured in at 27 inches, which is insane to me. My diet was absolutely horrendous during this challenge. If I were to do it again, I would eat better. It literally took seven workouts in seven days. That's only 49 minutes of a workout. But 49 minutes of doing that workout, I wonder what the results would be. You know, we could put that to the test. I don't think so. Your body would have to have time to react and get used to it. Anyways, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment on any future recommendations or challenges. And I'll see y'all next time for another video.